Alright everyone, so as promised, I'm going to go ahead and do the um, tutorial today. And just, you know, just to say, don't just trap yourself with this one tutorial because how I'm using the copper wire, you can apply it to many other different types of jewelry. So just keep an open mind. Don't just be pigeonholed in this one DIY tutorial. You know, open your mind on how else you can utilize the copper wire that I got. So what I like to do and what I, I'm, I'm just continuing to do as I, as I make these Vampirella jewelry, hopefully I can make more. First, you're going to measure your bicep. And this is going to be for the cuff that has, and I guess this is my interpretation of it, I cut out little coffin-shaped pieces out of um, vinyl. And I've cut three of them out, so you're going to, and, and you really don't need a pattern for this. Just kind of draw it out evenly on like a piece of paper, cut it out, there's your pattern, and then just cut it out of the vinyl. So you're gonna wanna measure your bicep. This, uh, my customer's bicep is about nine and a half. So this one is 10, just to um, compensate for the, 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 the rolling over here, the hemming on the edges and then it should be about nine and a half. And then uh, what I do is this, is, this was originally white vinyl. I painted it. Now this is optional. I just, I like it this way because the gold is very vibrant. I painted it with gold leather paint first. The same with these. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste on, um, now you can use Eileen's Tacky Glue, um, a little bit of E6000 if you want. Um, what else? Super glue, nothing too strong that's gonna eat away at the vinyl because it is obviously a synthetic thing and you know it doesn't hold up very well against it. But basically this is what it's going to be. So I'm painting this first, then I'm going to, I already painted it obviously, so then I'm gonna paste these on evenly. And then after I do that, I'm going to spray paint it with gold spray paint before I go any further. Now, that'll be for this step. For this cuff, I like to get, and you get this at Lowe's, it's a, an eight gauge copper wire. This has to be, well, you can buy it in like 10 foot rolls, but I never use that much. So I have to buy it off the spool and someone has to cut it for you. And it's like a buck something per feet. You have to buy it per feet. And I usually buy about two to three feet um, for it for the cuffs. Now this is going to go, once you have everything done and spray painted, you're going to fold this a little bit and then you're going to stitch it along here and then afterwards you're going to feed the wire in there. And I also like to use a wine bottle when I do this. And this will work for both of the armbands that I'm about to show you how to make. Um, so let's take a break on this. We'll, re we'll return back to this one when I'm, I'm done with that. Now for the other one, Vampirella does have um, a, like a twisted arm band that she wears on her other arm. What I like to do, and you're going to probably need some pliers. So let me get some pliers here. I like to take... The, uh, a wine bottle and then let me try and bend the edge just a little bit to get it kind of get it started and copper wire is very soft so you can bend this by hand with really no problem the only reason why I use pliers is because at the at the ends it's really hard to bend but that's really the only issue that I have with it and then you can use your wine bottle and I hoard these freaking things, so I always have tons of wine bottles. And then just bend the wire around like so. And it makes it really nice and neat. See how that is? And then what I'm going to do here is Vampirella, her armband is kind of like a snake. So with my pliers, I'm going to take this one edge that I already kind of bent and I'm going to bend, bend it upwards 
to make a, like a teardrop shape. So I'm going to bend it up backwards like so. And I'm going to do the same thing for down here. Not, not that much, just, just a little one. So I, I use gold leafing because, you know, Vampirella's character, I mean, the, the jewelry, in my opinion, when I see the pictures, it's not brand new out of the store. It's not perfect. It has imperfections, uh, maybe a patina on it. I don't know. I'm not really putting that, but I want it to look like it's it's been hammered. It's handmade metal just to give it that illusion. So when I, it, I mean, and you could stop there. You could just gold spray paint it. But if you want to go for more detail for it to have a more weathered look, I really like gold leafing the, you know, the jewelry just because it gives that that look and just an, an extra detail that that can be appreciated and it, it, it works really well. I really like the way the first one came out when I gold leaf it. So I'm just going to continue gold leafing these. And um, another thing that I want to mention about the cuff is once you paste on your, your little coffin pieces or whatever, you're going to notice the space, the, you know, the, the dip or the, the difference in how this is higher than the bottom one. Like you'll see the edge of this piece. So what I like to do is get some um, fabric paint. I have gold. I just happen to have it just by coincidence. You can use white or, um, you know, or, or gold or silver. But if I would try to stay away from any dark colored ones, if you just have them on hand, only because it'll change the gold color and it won't be as bright and vibrant. It might be a little bit darker, so it'll it'll be more noticeable. So just kind of keep it in white or gold or silver. Cause I mean, you're still gonna spray paint over it, so it really doesn't matter. Um, and I just like to go over the 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 edges with the paint and just kind of whoops, let me see. I'm sorry. And just kind of like squirt it down in here into the crevices, just so that way it just looks embossed and it's. It looks just continuous. It's embossed, but continuous is the best way I can I can describe it. So that's just a little tip here. So I'm gonna let this dry and then um, get to the spray painting. So this is what it should look like after you bend it over your wine glass. I mean your wine bottle. And again, I use a wine bottle because it's just super easy to bend it over and it's gonna be even even and perfect and look how awesome that one looks. For, so for the Vampirella thing, at the top it is kind of snake-like and I don't, especially for this part, I mean this part I don't really care, that looks fine, but this part I don't want it to be bare or holy or whatever. So I have this gem, you can buy these at Joann's um, in giant bags or little bags, but this is like a, a large teardrop shape gem and I'm going to glue it to cover the hole here and then after I'm done pasting it then I will spray paint the entire copper wire in gold spray paint and then the last thing I'm going to do is gold leaf the other cuff and this one and I use gold leaf because here let me let me explain okay, so we're I'm done spray painting so I spray painted the armband um, and then upside down as well so it gets an even coat of gold and again um, just just to explain why I paint this gold first and not just go straight for the gold leafing is because if some if it gets nicked you know maybe like the first layer will come off it, at least it'll still be gold underneath and it won't reveal any copper so it won't be noticeable so your your jewelry will remain intact I guess you could say as, as a gold jewelry longer if you do it that way um, so I have it see and then this is the little the little snake head type deal um, I used hot glue because I couldn't find my E6000 which is also fine but it, it leaves it kind of messy so I'm probably gonna get uh, a knife or a, a blade I don't know how well you can see see how it's lumpy and then just like carve it out to smooth it and then probably go over it in 
gold spray paint. Also, I sewed the cuff. I folded it down, made the little, the little tunnels, I guess you could say. And then I also trimmed my wire to size. Now, I'm not gonna do this yet, but just so you know, um, you just insert it. And then you feed it, and it goes all the way through. And then, it's, and then it's hard, and then you can bend it again around the, the wine bottle to make the perfect cuff shape. But I'm not done yet. That's not until the very last step because I still need to gold leaf everything. And then, um, and then yeah, then you can insert the rods into the little tunnels. And then um, at the end, I'm going to be sealing it with a matte clear coat. Or you could use gloss clear coat, whichever you prefer, but I like the matte just to seal it and make it last a little bit longer. And yeah, and then we'll, we'll see how it goes in a little bit. I'm gonna finish finish up. So we are back at it. All right. Had to wait overnight for this one to dry on the edges before I go leaf. I bought this at Hobby Lobby, but you can buy it at really any craft store. Don't forget to use your coupons. Never pay retail. They sell different types. They sell this one, which is the whole sheets, or they also sell, which is slightly cheaper, just a bunch of like, I guess you'd call it confetti of this, which is probably like the leftovers in the factory when they make it, because it's very flaky. So before you start um, gold leafing, what you need to do, because this stuff is so sticky, like it'll stick to you. You got to um, dry out your hands, use some talcum powder. They do sell specialized glue for the, the gold leafing, but um, it just says in the directions you can use any water-based glue, which is what I have. I have Mod Podge. So, cause that other glue that they sell that goes with it is really expensive and it's, it comes in like cover. a tiny little area sorry my camera turned off right now just get it evenly coated don't try and soak a certain section and then slowly take off the gold leaf and, and please just learn from my mistake from before Please use talcum powder and dry out your hands before you apply this because it will just stick to your skin and you're gonna waste a sheet of this gold leafing if you don't. If your hands are like sweaty or they just have their natural oils, it just wants to stick to it like glue and it's super annoying and it sucks. So just kinda pat pat. cover the whole thing mm -hmm. and it's okay if you start doing it in strips if things start breaking off it that's just fine so pat it down to a stick and then with your leftover product that's on the brush, just see it gets real sticky. So just try and, ah, yeah, see it's real hard to do it. Let me get a clean brush. Okay, so sorry about that. Should have used a clean brush. Cause like I said, it's sticky. So with the clean brush, just try and pat the gold leafing if it breaks off, that's okay. Just try and pat the gold leafing into the parts that are raised and everything. It will start to come off in bits, but that's okay. You can always go back and reapply more gold leafing. And then when it looks okay, you can just kind of start cutting it, trimming it like that by just brushing it off. This, this part might take a few tries because you gotta let it dry and then if you see any bare parts you don't like, you have to go back and add the more Mod Podge and reapply. So this part I'd say is probably 
the most time consuming of this, especially when you do this one because the this one's really hard just because of the shape and, and how it is. But just work patiently with it and it will come out looking cool. So I'm gonna continue doing this and then we'll have the next step. So I'm just about done. Um, I let these dry overnight. This one, um, I'm probably gonna have to do one more coat, like I said. This one would probably be the hardest just because when you first put it on and then you start cleaning it, it it's just hard. It's harder to stick, so you need like another layer. So I'm gonna do another layer and then let it dry. But after it's fully dry for the first time, you just gotta like clean it off with a, a clean brush just to get any excess off. Um, See, there's some, I have some bald areas here. Not bald, it's not hair, what am I talking about? You know what I mean? And then just clean up, anything that's sticking out is gonna come off. So you just gotta like clean it off and then do another coat. Now, um, I'm closer to being done with this one. I've already spray painted it I spray painted it well I did go over it with a, a, a little light coat of gold because some of the gold flakes were sticking up so when you spray paint it it kind of like tacks them back down and I like it it looks all old and weathered and hammered and let me get let me show you what I use and this is why I like using the the matte spray because it 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 tones down the sheen I thought it was too shiny and in my opinion old stuff is not incredibly brilliant or shiny so it kind of dulled it out so now it looks a lot better so you gotta go let, let that completely dry and then after this completely dries because some some parts are still a little wet I'm gonna fold over one section and sew it down like that and then I'm like I showed you before I'm gonna feed my rods through it and then again, just show you real quick how to mold it over the, the wine bottle to create that perfect cuff. And then it will this part will be done. But basically, I mean, this is the end of the video. If you're not satisfied, especially with this one, like I said, this one's going to be the most time-consuming, frustrating one. Just, keep, just take your time and keep putting layers of it. You know, scrub it with the, the brush after it's dry. And then, again, also spray it with your clear coat to seal it and it'll look great it'll be a wonderful part of your vampirella costume and i hope you will impress people so yeah that's the end of the video thank you very much like and subscribe and happy halloween Bye bye